Hi and welcome to this Excel course specially designed for beginners. In this course, you will get to learn some most useful and basic things about Excel. Okay, so if you think that using Excel is only meant for bankers, people with career in finance, you are totally wrong. If I talk about myself, Excel is something I use every single day, almost. Well, let's move on. In this course, we are going to talk about the Excel interface, workbook structure, how to write formula, and how to format your Excel environment to make it work for you. Excel is a very useful tool, no matter what line of career you are in. Whether you are working for a commercial company or you are a small business owner, you will come across using a spreadsheet at one point or another. One of the basic features of Excel is to click on buttons to do certain things in Excel. So, uh, this is the first video of my Excel course. In this course, I'll discuss the Excel ribbon. As you can see, I have opened Excel on my computer and you can see all these cells and this ribbon. This is called a ribbon. And these are called cells and rows and columns, but we will discuss those in my upcoming videos. And uh, let me tell you one thing more. This whole thing is called a workbook or a spreadsheet. The ribbon is basically everything up here that I am highlighting with my mouse right now. It's all the menu bars, the buttons. The ribbon in Excel consists of tabs located along the top, providing access to various functions and features. It serves as a navigational tool to access a wide range of options within the application. So on the home tab, you have the font option to change the font style and the color to make it bold large, small, highlighted, and many other things. As we move on to the other parts of the ribbon, there are the insert tab, page layout tab, formula tab, data tab, and so on. These are all other advanced things you can do in Excel, and I'll talk about these things in my future videos. Well, that's the first step in using the ribbon. Now let's talk about hiding the ribbon. In Excel, the ribbon can be a bit in the way when you want to see lots of cells, to hide the ribbon, you can see this tiny arrow sign here at the top of the sheet. Click here and click on the hide ribbon button and it will be hidden. Now you have more room to do things in Excel. And if you need something from the ribbon, you simply need to click here and the ribbon will be back. But it will be auto hidden after you start working on your sheet. So to move things back, you need to go to this tiny arrow again and click on this button that says show tabs and commands. I usually don't hide the ribbon, so let's keep it like this. But it's really up to your personal preferences. Alright, so this was all for this video. I'll be discussing workbook structure in my next video. See you there.